girls, it's Wednesday. in a public library. Like, it's seriously the worst place for me to go. Well, not the worst. Like, the public library is amazing. Like, it's just, ah, oh, I love the library so much. But every time I go in there, I always come out with so many more things that I really didn't need to bring home with me. Like, it's not that bad because, you know, they have to go back, right? In today's case, it, it's just a little little bad. So today I went to the public library, not for books, because I have this huge stack of stuff everywhere, and next weekend is the Calgary Reads book sale, so I'm gonna obtain more books for me to read. If you live in Calgary and you want more information, there's some in the doobly-doo. I didn't go to the book section, I instead went to the CD section. And the way they have it set up, the first row of CD that they have is what they have called music history. So it's all of the classical music, pretty much, which is a lot of stuff that I know about. So I just, I just start to go down the aisle and I go like, oh, it's Vivaldi, I should take this CD. Ooh, Haydn, I'm gonna take that one. Oh my god, it's Mozart, I'm gonna take this one too. And I just get so excited and I wind up with a stack of CDs that looks like this. So I got a lot of things today. And Tony Vivaldi's cello concertos. This CD, it's called Music to Die For and there's a lot of... Uh, like, sort of, I guess, epic stuff on it. Carl Orff's Carmina Marana, which, you know, is, is pretty epic. And Verdi's Dies Irae. We also have Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata. And some Philip Glass. And some Mozart. And some Wagner. Composers that, you know, just don't fit together at all. But I'm kind of excited to listen to it. Haydn, the Sturm und Drang. Sturm und Drang. I don't speak German. Sometimes I say things in German really well, but Sturm und Drang. I'm, I'm butchering this right now. Sturm und Drang translates to storm and stress. It was a period in time when there was this whole thing about contrast in music and, you know, very, like, sort of upbeat, energetic, full of, of life, and then, you know, a contrasting, juxtaposed form to it. I guess this is the entire collection of all his symphonies that have this quality. Soundtrack for Sky Captain and the World of Tomorrow, the Celtic Thunder CD. I remember one of the Calgary nerd fighters talking about it. She's super obsessed with them and I think one of the members, he's the the Irish guy on Glee, I think. Angels and Demons soundtrack because I love Hans Zimmer. He's Ah, uh, he writes epic music. Video games live, level two. It just looked interesting. Like, I usually really like video game music, even if I've never actually played the video game itself. CD called Legends, and it's a bunch of music that is connotated with, like, legends. So we have Entry of the Gods into Valhalla by Wagner. Oh, oh, it's from The Ring, which is his opera cycle, you know, four operas. It's a bajillion hours long. Ride of the Valkyries, which you probably know from Bugs Bunny. Yeah, this thing? Huh? Huh? Yeah. I got this CD, which is basically entitled um, Bolero, which is a very, very well-known piece. It's a really cool piece, and there's like a bunch of other really good Bolero stuff on this. Um, Astro Piazzolla, who is a very, very good Spanish composer. He's actually on my list of composers to check out this summer. More Vivaldi. Shostakovich is another composer on my list of pe people that I'm supposed to check out. And so I got to the library and I basically took all the CDs that they had on him, and this is all like concertos. I dropped it! Ah! Yeah, as you can tell, I don't have a challenge this week. So that's why you have an interesting video. Ah! Bye, girls. Kylie, I'll see you tomorrow.